so I'm gonna give it down. I'm just trying to get it. I'll let you copy right. You guys, you motherfuckers don't have permission to steal my videos. But you do anyway, of course. Let me talk to you. Tore me up, Molly Mitchell hunting. Look at that shit. Damn. I found a shit ton of. What's up, Kentucky? Let me talk to you. God damn, I miss my friend. To the other line, let me talk to you. You better talk to him or could be last time. Remember, man, pick that phone up. Talk to him. <laughs> Let me talk to you. It was the last time. Part of me died, man. Look that boy. I'm getting down. God damn, man. Damn, I fucking damn lost you. Seems like it was yesterday. I still can't believe I lost you. And I heard you had some problems with your girl. You didn't see them. Hurts, you ran off with the prison. You didn't see them. That shit hurts, man. What's up, Alabama? Kill me when I read your name in that bitch you worry. My friend, last time I seen him. God damn, I need you. Who you, Moose, bro? I miss you every goddamn day, homie. Let me talk to you. God damn, I miss my friend. Why'd I walk away, guys? This shit fucked me up. Let me talk to you. God damn, I miss him, guys. I miss him so much. I just know he's the lucky one. We missed my son's graduation. I mean, his first word was bad there to me. My friend died. Noose, you know the boy Noose, the guitarist? Yeah, I've been growing a beard, bro. I miss my buddy, man. The music's the only thing that's keeping me going, Alex. I've been shooken to the core, I've been 
I'm just gonna tell you peace to a pool of war for everything that I believe in. That's where it's close, my bad guys. I got bad news for all you fools if you think I'm gonna goddamn bow down and let you overstand me. You see who's still standing. I buried 22 family members and friends. Graves. When's it my turn? But you know what? They're lucky ones. You know, I believe like this. The strong is left here to survive because what's to come? You better be very strong. But if Not your day. You get a phone call away. I had to turn that part back up. Time out your day. Your best friend's just a phone call away. You got that person out there you having them bad problems with, man. You know what I mean? Amends with them people, man. You don't want that. That was my best friend. We never had problems like that, man. You know what I mean? I just know he will never, you know what I mean? I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Fucking live with knowing that I didn't fucking, we didn't have bad words together, man. I know in my heart and soul that he died knowing that. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't have I, no friends. You know what I mean? That was the only, I said I can count my friends on one hand. Now he's gone. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't even trust people to come by my house. People don't understand, you know, I lost my stepfather. That was my father, basically, my whole life. And then my buddy, Greeny. That hit me and Noose really hard. And then when fucking Noose went, boy, it's tearing my son up. It's tearing me up. I mean, it's just, it's like my brother's dead. You know what I mean? And I don't have nobody. I have no friends, man. No friends. No more. Nobody even stops to see me. Uh, but maybe it's for the good. You know what I mean? I know George, bub. You know what I mean, you. I know you always got to work and stuff, brother. You know what I mean. Fuck a cell phone. That's the problem these days, bro. We was talking about that last time I went to fucking jail. All you hear, you know, at least we're in there talking to each other. But out here, it's. But that's okay. I might have burned every bridge along the way, but I'm still standing here today. All the drugs, all the struggles, all the demons, like he just said, you know what I mean? Crawling on the floors, begging God. If I could get up off my hands and knees, I'd never do that drug again. You know? That's why I said if you got that one person out there, you know what I mean? Please pick up the fucking phone and call them and squash that shit. Because if they go, you don't. You know what I mean? You don't want to know what it's like to bury one of your friends without getting to say goodbye. And goodbyes go so fast. That's why, you know, you can ask any friend that ever visits me. Ever visits me. Turkey don't say bye. It's later. I'll see you later, man. It's never goodbye. It's like Paul Walker says, what? I was going to leave without saying bye. It's never by. It's always later. Yes, ma'am, I'm clean. Smoking on some purple Urkel. And some, um, this right here is uh, Gorilla Glue. No, that's the skunk. Okay, that's skunk number two. I've got a few different strains, man. I'm proud to be, I'm here today, you know what I mean? I fit heroin, I fit so many drugs, man, you know what I mean? But I'm still standing here today, 
you know. Mm -hmm. I burned a lot of bridges along the way with my family members, with, you know what I mean? Loves of my life, I burnt those bridges being stupid on drugs, and I can stand here and say that. I can stand here and admit to the world I was the problem. 99% of the fucking problem. You know? I never would have fucked with fentanyl, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, when your son said. I ain't hit that yet for, I have, but it's been a minute since I fucked with some shit like that. That's a good string, man. I've not toned my guitar. I've left the same tune that he tuned it in. Um, I, all I can say is I lost my best friend, man. Everybody keeps looking at me. My one buddy looked at me and said, Dirk, what's wrong with you? You look like you lost your best friend. I did, bro. <laughs> You know, he didn't know, you know, and after I told him, he is really fucked up, you know. Yeah, fentanyl, you know what I mean? Guys, a lot of us are not addicted to drugs. You're addicted to what it kills, the demon it takes away. Then a lot of us are addicted to not being in pain. But you're a drug addict for that. Just because you don't want to be in pain. You don't want to be in misery. So you're an addict. You're a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I don't have nothing left to prove. You know what I mean? I've served my time. I've paid my motherfucking dues. Let me find a paper. That's awesome. That's amazing. You know what I mean? Especially in California, it's everywhere, you know. It's, it's a poison by the government people, you know. Yeah, Gorilla Glue is a good stream, man. Uh, you ever smoked a, a cart ice cream Gorilla Glue? Mmm, this shit tastes fire. That's one of my favorite flavors. Uh, it's actually this, comes in Push. Push is my favorite cartridge. It's called Ice Cream Gorilla Glue there, as you can see. Ice Cream, uh, yeah, Hybrid. I had that fucking side down again, man. Ice Cream Gorilla. That is some shit there. I like that one. But, uh, congratulations. Everybody give this woman a hand in here for being sober, getting off and fitting on. You know what I mean? She might have been doing it like I just said. There, you know, only 10 to 20 percent of people do drugs to do drugs. The rest do it to kill a demon, to kill that pain of losing someone or the pain in their back or their broken arm. I've watched people take press fentanyl pills and fucking eat them by the handfuls and it not even phase them. You know why? That person's in pain. But I've watched people also take a half of one of them and drop them dead at four o'clock. That's because that person does not need it. They are an addict. They just want to get high. Every time you shut your respiratory down, you're trying to die. It's not about getting high. It's about not being in pain or fighting a demon. But try to tell that to some psychiatrist somewhere. You know, yeah, my, my my hat goes off to that girl right there to be able to fight fentanyl, you know. I fit my drug addiction with heroin from, god damn, 2004 to 2015 almost, guys. You know what I mean? But I was a functional drug. I worked every day, paid for what I did, left my old lady, the drugs, you know what I mean? It was me, like I said. I was the one, you know what I mean? Introduced her to the fucking drug. Never would have knew about it. You know? So I take responsibility for that. That's why I said, if you got, you know, that one person you need to make amends with in this world, you best be getting to doing it. You know, because you might not have tomorrow to do that. That person yourself might be gone. Not you. You know, always consider the other person. What's up, Shane? Not much, brother. Just missing a friend, man. And 
hating how all these drugs are destroying us all and making us hate each other, you know. Congratulations, Chris. That's a milestone. Give him a hand, people. Give that boy a hand right there. Twelve years clean. Uh, what was it? 2002. I've been clean since November the 11th of 2002 from drug like that. You know what I mean? I smoke my pot, take my prescriptions. Uh, I'm like, okay. And usually stay out working in the building or something just to stay away here in the past couple of weeks because I just got to be alone. You know what I mean? Look at my arms. I mean, when we went molly moocher hunting, my ass was crawling under blires just to get away from people. I didn't want to even, you know, my social anxiety was tearing me apart, man. You know what I mean? And this was actually more social depression, if that even makes sense. But it's like my doctor says, dude, you live hell on earth anyway, dirt. Depression and anxiety is hell on earth. Yeah, that's the, the hardest thing I have done in since I did all my shit. I'm getting ready to play for uh, the base, the softball league again. You see what I'm saying? For recovery. You know what I mean? Supporting everybody. Uh, it's shrooms. Shrooms is... And that's a plant. That is God growing. That is not no fucking drug. You know what I mean? What's up, cuz? Not much. Just missing my buddy and, you know, just bullshitting there a little bit. Rolling up fatty. <sighs> Worked on a couple things today. I got my intake and... New car, getting ready to uh, go into my Mustang and shit, you know. Got my new firing system in, so that's good. I am, man. It's just, as I twist it, <laughs> he's usually over there, you know what I mean? You roll the best joints, turkey. For some reason, you can roll them, they only look right, but they burn good. They burn perfect. He would say that all the time, man. It's just little, the little things, guys, you know what I mean? When I look over, I see my guitar. It's the instant reminder. When I'm gone, dead in the ground, when y'all see the Cleveland Browns, you're going to think of old Durkee. You see people everywhere, man. You know, I've done a lot of grieving in my lifetime, a lot. You know, I'm looking for a lot of now, what the fuck? Oh, if it's up my ass, I'll know it when I... Uh, I ain't worried. Nah, acid is... Acid used to be legal. I'm not about... You know what I mean? Go out there and hope you some fucking gasoline. You'll get more off that than you would shrooms or acid if you want to fry your brain. You like Sid Bear until 2006. That's the year he died. He went on the trip in the 60s and died in 06 on the same trip. Pretty sure I don't want to go on a strip like that, man. Because some of that shit, the way they dip it and make it, they fuck it up. And then they put you blind and fuck you up. country won't on men who run to get your rifle and get your gun sorry about that guys I have to change this shit I have to go to some bone thugs and harmony I'm not against rap. I'm not against rappers. We're against them motherfucking thugs. 
first song I ever heard on a block, block you know what I mean? Went to this party, I was dating this chick where I met my baby mama. You know what I mean? What new woman? I ain't got no fucking... Why does everybody think I got the, a new woman? Who's told this story? I would love to know who my new woman is. And right here, bro. That bitch don't talk back. She's tight as fuck. You better marry her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no fucking woman. I don't want no woman, bro. Fuck that. Ain't nothing but aggravation. Why would I want to be aggravated right now while I'm grieving? You know what I mean? Fuck that. I'm good. We got time for that shit. At all. Ain't no bitch taking my goddamn loot that I've been making. You know what I mean? That's going in my bike, my fucking car, my bench. No. Thank you. I even stopped buying weapons for a reason. You know what I mean? Because I have to get these things done. I tried to date this chick, but goddamn, the bitch was ditching a fucking cold like fucking bozo to clown. But uh, smart, at, in the same time, she walked in straight into my house and started playing fucking Foo Fighters on my guitar. Like, it, she knew it her whole life, and that's Noose's fucking favorite band, was one of them. You know what I mean? Learning to fly, she started thinking, I was like, what the fuck? And I just got chills all over me, man. You know, and it was the day after he had passed, and this girl just walks in and just, you know. What am what are you grieving about? I'm grieving about my friends, bro. And my step my my base and my father raised me. Are you serious? And my friend in Cleveland got killed dead on arrival in a car wreck. You know what I mean? The same age as my baby nieces. I mean, when it fucking rains it pours. And it's I, I wish this on nobody, man. Good fuck. I'm tired of, you know, like, where's the fucking love? Like, Black Eyed Peas says, what's wrong with the world, man? People acting like he ain't got no mama, like he was raised with no mamas. Never. They're all strung out, they got five kids. Yeah, I mean, what, the women? Yeah, no shit. Why do you think I said Boone County mating call, come get a baby, and the bitch got her panties in her hands when they get here? Never heard that part, did you? All you heard was the edited bullshit that you wanted to hear. Me and my cousin was talking about that earlier. He was like, man, I wasn't trying to say what I said in that movie like that. I was like, I knew it wasn't. They edited it to make you think it. He said, thank you. I know what you're doing, cuz. Don't worry about it. it. Wasn't what a month ago when my friend passed? Dude, if you got a fucking problem, if you... With my buddy pass, I'll be out until the day I die. I'll grieve and miss him. Motherfuckers like you, hell won't be hot enough for. Okay? You think just because fucking it's been a month or fucking... Uh, I, but I grieve every day for my dad. He's been dead for 30 fucking two years. Fucking retard. What is wrong with you, man? Oh, well, I'm sorry, bro. That, you know what I mean? That's a very touchy subject right there, you know? That's my best friend before any kindergarten or anything. Dearly, dearly to my heart, man. You know what I mean? And then this one right here. Right fucking there. The noose will go here now. My two best friends I will wear with me and my fucking sister and my dad every day of my life until the day they put me in that room. That's just an honor. That's respect. That's what we do. You know what I mean? I wear you, uh, you know, like Pac says, I wear your name tatted on my arm so we both roam through my dying days. Hey, Noose and Sean, rest in peace, thug life. <laughs> you know, for, like he used to, and, and he says, how many, and life goes on when he says, you know, Used to blaze with me, used to blaze with me. Two in the morning, and we still high as that. Screaming thug till I die before I passed out. That shit right there just hits home, man, you know what I mean? 
I don't care what my cousin's doing, buddy. I really don't care what my cousin's doing. He does that, I guess, for content or whatever. You know what I mean? You don't hear me sitting here dogging him out, do you? I don't have time for that, bro. <laughs> you know, not at all. And not only do I not have time for it, it's just fucking ludicrous. Yeah. They understand the concept or the definition of the word or the pronoun or the verb or the fucking noun itself. It's hard. I doubt it, but it's just ludicrous, you know. And I don't mean the rapper. I, I'm not going to get on here and cuss my cousin, say fucking nothing like that. I love my cousin. I don't know if he wants to be, do this, do that, you know what I mean? But I bow down to no man but God. That's the bottom line. I'm not no little boy no more. That's just like my, me and my other cousin talked earlier. He said, I took the fucking rap for all this motherfucker's heroin. He's trying to get me to do an interview for him. Fuck him. So he can get views. That's exactly what he said. This is person from Minnesota. You know? The whole family sees what he's after. Money, clout, do you know what I mean? That's all it is. I, we're not about that. You can't buy us the fuck out, but you can them. Him, you can, you know. Not us. You're not buying us out, man. It's not happening. You know, and just like I said, why even speak about that right now? I didn't even want to even speak about something like that, you know. You know, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? It's been a long day. How's those gun chargers going? The fuck you talking about? Bro, my guns are right here. Registered, motherfucker. Son, I don't, I ain't on bond. I don't have a fucking charge against me. And then some idiot earlier said, uh, little man showed me an indictment. You know what an indictment is? You fucking idiot. You have to be indicted in the criminal state that you did the criminal act into. How the fuck would he hold an indictment? A prosecuting attorney only holds an indictment. Yes, and I'm getting ready to go to a junior's prom and stuff. Real things, Kayla. You get what I'm saying? My son's getting ready to graduate. And we're taking the GR86 up for him to go to prom in and help him pick out, you know, his tux and stuff. Absolutely, I did. Me and Jim just got done speaking. We're tired of this dumb shit. That's why I was like, oh, I want your new YouTube, of this. My YouTube's doing fucking amazing. But everybody else don't know it's dirty behind that. That's just called charisma. Motherfucker, well, you either got it or you don't, you know? Um, I fish uh, sometimes. My son loves to fish. Yes, I did for trespassing. And guess what? Got thrown out of court, bro. Guess what? The cop said right here, that motherfucker calls us again. Captain of the Spoon Challenge, Eric Eversole we went to school with. The only body going to jail is him. I'm tired of fucking hearing this motherfucker cry like a baby, exact words, from my captain of the police on over a goddamn internet. You, what is he, a pure pussy? Thank you, everybody. He said, That's, ain't that little man? I said, yep. He said, goddamn, he's a fucking bitch now, ain't he? Captain of police said that. Talk to him right there. So, where's your little fucking indictment? Where's any charge, motherfucker? It's called not guilty. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all bring this shit. Anybody talks about that again, I'm going to block you. Just permanently. They're exact. Thank you, Nick. They hate me because they don't own what I have. Growing up, you know what I mean? He never was fucking successful as I was. They pointed the camera at us. And not him because his last name White and mine's Castle. Motherfucker, I'm just as just white as you are, man. Come on, man. What are we, a goddamn royal fucking family? 
let that stupid movie go, man. Two decades ago, almost. Let it roll. That shit was dumber than fuck. I got agitated so much when they filming that dumb shit. Waking people up and goddamn. How do you feel about... I feel like I'm about ready to come over and knock you the fuck out. But no, that's in the camera. You know? Just like my cousin said earlier. They made us sound like we hated y'all from up here. That's not what I said. I know it's not. Because when I said the Boone County made him call, nobody even knows why I say I hit the, I hit it again. What's the blood clot? Because it turns me on. It's a fucking bunch of dumb shit. I'm going to come at anybody that asks that dumb question or bring that up sideways. And it's not sideways. God damn. They finally got, you know who started them words? That's a prison word. The internet adapts a lot of dumb shit, don't it? Boy, I'll tell you, anybody's a badass behind this motherfucker. But one thing I've noticed, they can't even be a badass on video. Let's have a Zoom call, motherfuckers, and get this out. But here, here'd be the problem with that. When will we ever get to speak? <laughs> you know, I'd be sitting here like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everything they said is true. Goodbye. That's how, that's how that would go, you know? But no, I didn't start this to attack nobody. You know what I mean? I never started, uh, YouTube or anything. My ex started my YouTube and monetized it and shit. Not me, you know? I just got on here and talked to people, brought them into my family, you know, daily life with my family and things like that. And then haters came along. Matt, Fat Matt came along first. You know what I mean? He came along, dealt with his dumb shit, you know, still hear about him right to the day of how fucked up he did his life. You know, all we can do is pray for people like that. I'm not going, you know, be the one that people think is the goddamn internet person that sits there and says, oh, there he's the dude from the Wild and Wonderful Whites that you can catch live on the internet. And, you know, it's just not me, man. Well, you can get the fuck out of here, bro. Go learn what you're talking about. I'm not talking sideways. I'm looking directly at you, bitch. It's called air and opportunity. That's why people don't like me right there. Because I just told you like the fuck I felt. Oh, I ain't going to come here and get this shit on. Go cry, baby. You got to fuck over to the other side. Because that's where the crybabies are. Go over there. Join those motherfuckers, boy. That's the problem right there with me. I'm not kissing your ass just because you didn't know what you was talking about. But yeah, you did. You knew exactly what. You was the one brought all this dumb shit up. So I'm going to make you leave. Suspend you and shit. Why would I want a dumbass in here starting shit? I should have done it right off the bat. From now on, if you want to watch me do a live feed, people, you start talking that dumb shit, I'm going to kick you up out of the room permanently. One word about that dumb shit, you know what I mean? Bringing me up again. Oh, you're so special, Dwayne. But it's the Wayne Gardner guy. He's going to be the fucking next goddamn motherfucking Elon Musk, man. He's so special. I'm talking about getting you out of the room because you're a shit starter, you know? You sure the hell ain't a fucking finisher. That's a fact. I know a goddamn follower from a leader. I don't fucking start shit, I finish shit. You hear me, boy? Boy? Son? Son? Watson? We may have a mental person here, Watson. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, like I said, man, everybody here is, I don't know why you act like you don't know what's going on before you ask questions like that find out what's going on that's all I'm saying yeah see there it comes motherfucker see that's what I was waiting for bring your fucking Yankee dumb ass look at you dude 
in your profile picture with your flat ass bill hat. That explains everything. Do you shoot your gun this way? And do you hunch when you shoot it? So it throw it a little bit better? Bitch. Come get some of this honky. Cause we fucking rumble. Cracker or crumble. This is a honky motherfucker. Come and get it. Goddamn half breed motherfucker. You ain't nothing but a shit starter, like I said. So I'll call you out, anybody I want. Who are you? Nobody knows you, and nobody gives a fuck about what you say. Who, whose speed we watching here? Tim, the wannabe, the Wayne, Rock, Grinder, Johnson? Or Derek Wayne Castle? The old fucking dirty white boy. Speed. Don't worry, I'll wait, like Cat Williams says. We kill motherfuckers over flip flops and goddamn cowboys and boots and wearing tank tops. Like you. Jump on one of them magic carpets and catch you a ride over there, motherfucker. You just mad because I told you like the fuck it was. You keep asking all these questions, all these questions, all these questions. Well, I'm going to give you all your answers you want. Here's your answers. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. You're irrelevant. End of story. There it comes. See how easy it is to pump you? Because my cousin told you to say that. Dad, tell I, who, who, who paid for your dead ass daddy's fucking body to be flown there, Donald? When a faggot shot him dead. You want to bring out the truth, motherfucker? Just like Kirk said, we can spill some shit here that'll make this motherfucker go all upside down. Well, that, okay, then, exactly, okay, you just, Tim, you just made yourself very irrelevant with that, what you said. I haven't kept up with you in years, okay? Go back to what you said a while ago. That's called contradicting. You just contradicted the shit out of what you said, my man. I'm far from living on any dead man's check, you know what I mean? What was Donald's daddy's name? Fucking... Donald Myers, Donald Myers, Marky, a.k.a. Marky, Katie looks just like that, he don't, oh yeah, oh boy, I'm tweaking, the motherfucker's telling you what to say, he's tweaking, but the motherfucker don't know what their admin is, you understand, must be a tweaker, you understand, I'll be selling merch up me. Mamie will be there, all of us. But I guarantee you he won't. That bitch came up. My cousin earlier died to laugh. He said he came all the way to Bridgeport when he come to Boone County. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. For real? I was like, yep. He said, God damn, he's a bitch. We ain't little kids no more. Ain't that right there, baldy, gray, fucking goddamn... Look like fucking Scotty Green or somebody up there. Yeah, I'm gonna whip Dirty's ass, that motherfucker. I'll call him this for a fucking nail. Go put your cowboy hat on, get your fucking pistol to compensate for something. You ain't no fucking nothing. A cowboy smack you fucking sideways. What are you gonna do? Stand there and bleed or do something, damn it. Bleed, bitch. Well, my just here from Minnesota. From Minnesota. Stayed here, brought her wife. Everything came here. Had a blast, but guess what? It, there was one, it wasn't. Now, let's get rid of the goddamn snow. Okay, you know. Oh, see, now, Dwayne, that's a much better what you just said. I was asking questions about shit I read. I thought you was bringing it up. You understand what I'm saying now, friend? I've still not banned you. I've not kicked you out of here. Nothing. I'm still trying to talk to you like a normal human being. 
But my cousin, I promise you, would have done did that, you know. Donald came all the way to Bridgeport. All the way. That's just two hours away from me, not even. Buck Cannon, West Virginia. He come to Bridgeport, he said, and did a job. He had a video. Why couldn't you come to Boone? Let's throw hands in front of the camera and end all this. That's all we got to do. And he knows and ain't nobody scared. He ain't scared of me, I ain't scared of him. God damn, we come from the same family. If you ain't hitting us, we ain't fighting. So it, may, it's a, it makes really no sense to me. You see what I'm saying about that? You know, if he don't hit me, I don't feel like I've been in a fight. If I don't hit him, he ain't gonna feel like he's been in a fight. That's just how we are, you know? I did not start this live feed to attack nobody. I started to answer questions. And then I thought Jane, or whatever, what was his name there? Uh, Tim was bringing up what he was saying from the other side. And I was like, I don't even mention that shit, but, but, but. If anybody takes me wrong, I apologize to them. It's just the way they take me, bro. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. I had a fucking uh, fall out there. I was trying to find my uh, fucking thing. I hold the phone up. I dropped it, some bitch, and came up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My cousin fits in this family more than I do. That's how much he fits in this family. You see how fast I'm not scared to tell you that. You know, that's his, you know, he's from, he was born, you know, raised. With all of us, I mean, it was all of us, man. It wasn't just one of us. It was all of us at that time. All of us was hell raisers. I mean, it, it was a rule, it was fucking want to break it, you know. Sorry about that, guys. Let me fix this thing. But, yeah, I mean, if old dude take me the wrong way, I just, I'm just tired of people. My cousin is blood, man. You know what I mean? My cousin, he's, he's only adopted because his father was killed, man. You know what I mean? I don't like people saying that he's not blood. He's definitely blood. You know, he definitely, I, I hate people say that. You see what I'm saying? That it's definitely my cousin. You know what I mean? 100%. Yeah. Looked up to him like a brother my whole life until this stupid view yeah. came about about a fucking jacket. And now people love to see us view with each other and they keep it going. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Yeah. And ain't what it is. Never will be, you know. But he is a hundred percent fucking a white, you know. I don't. I'm tired of a lot of people saying that, you know. He's adopted this and that. I'll say it when I get mad. We we both say things that hurt each other when we get mad. You've heard me tell him that, and you've heard him tell me that, you know. But I'm not, you know, trying to bounce off my own family member to, to gain clout or any fucking. Thing on the internet at all of any kind. It's just not what I'm about. But I know motherfuckers out there do that crazy shit, you know? And it breaks my heart to see some of them. Like that Whitaker people, that dude that take, I mean, that motherfucker takes advantage of a lot of people. I watch that yellow belly on the ground, dude. And people's like, oh, he put a new roof on top of their house. I was like, uh, have you ever done a roof? I mean, I've roofed for half of my life, and it looks like that's, a, that's what you put on top of a chicken coop. You fucking nuts, man! I was like, a roof costs thirty grand. That's fucking a thousand dollars or something. That broke my heart, man. You know what I mean? Even people out there, they can't. They're, it's called illiterate, you fucker, Mark, whoever, whatever his name is. That means they can't read or write, whether long signed or contract. 
Uh, I bet their lawyer wasn't there for their language barrier like they wasn't there for my family's. And that's how they trap my family up right there. Same fucking way. That's a fact. Do shit in front of like my uncle. He didn't understand. You see what I'm saying? In front of my aunt, she didn't understand. And once it's signed off, you know what I mean? Bam. You know, they think they got the rights to come everywhere and film this and this and this. You don't. You know? We only gave you what you the right you got. And we gave it to you motherfuckers. And we got, you know, what we gave you, you fucking exploited us for. Oh, they, they, they told us, this ain't never, you, you might make it past the first premiere. You will never make it past the Tribeca's Festival. We blew Tribeca's Festival apart. The number one fucking documentary. I've not seen too many documentaries show in every theater nationwide. Dirty bastards. You know what I mean? That's fucking dirty, man. To do us like that. And dirty how, you know, if you go, uh, my uncle asked me earlier, he said, have you watched that white lightning? I ain't watched it. I said, yeah, dude, it's completely wrong. Talking about pop off, leaving a bar, getting run over, uh, fucking yes, coke, taking big thorns into his arms. I was like, it's dark. They're fucking completely, it's just, they're the way they betray us in that, in that country. Motherfucker, if that's what you think, well, damn. If you're going to call me Timmy McVay, I'm going to be Timmy McVay, motherfucker. That's how I see how my uncle feels in some of these situations, you know what I mean? You're going to call me Charles Manson, motherfucker, I'm going to get him tattooed on my back and keep him on my right here. Hey, Charles, what should we do today? Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking, it's ludicrous. White lightning is. It's nothing. Com it's nothing to us. You see what I mean? I've had a lot of people also ask me if they made a movie. I'm like, what do you mean if they made a movie? We've made movies. Uh, many, of them, many of them. You know, who would you want to play you? you? I hear that question probably more than any. And you know, my answer to that would be get Justin Timberlake. From the role from Alpha Dogs. You know what I mean? That's about, you know what I mean? Right? See what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's it. That's what I said. I say that about every time I get asked that. And, and sometimes one dude said, nah, I'd eat them hawk. I was like, motherfucker, no. No. No, motherfucker, I am not the dude getting trained. I'm the motherfucker that's playing this all week. I'm Denzel, bitch. The white Denzel. But yeah, uh, within moments of the director being here, he asked me if I'd do a porno. You know what my rebuttal was? If I get to fuck her, the leading executive producer, she's married. She, they just was just at their uh, b -b -b parties, all this and that. I said, well, she about to get fucking divorced, think she? Her husband will watch her get fucked on camera. <laughs> she, her name's Katie During. as the movie comes on. Watch, executive producer, Katie During. Fine as fuck, boy. I mean, had that California ass. <clears throat> and the way she gets, she's short too, boy, like Shakira. She's short, I said, no, I looked at her, I said, I'll tell you what. I'll knock that one's guts in for you on camera if I get that one, you know what I mean? Because I knew they'd leave me alone. I played their little game for them right there. They instantly shut up with it. He walks in with a script. I take one look at it and start reading one line out of this, a paragraph out of the script that he walks in with. Julian Nixberg walks right in my house. He's like, you think... You know, I was like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I was like, this ain't gonna work. I said, nope. You can't write what we fucking do, and you can't write what you're gonna see here. Just put your camera up and fucking pay attention 
and trust me, there's never a dull moment. And that's what, you know, they followed us around for a year. They had cameras set all up in our trucks and shit like that. And uh, the best parts was never shown. Over 500 hours. And you come up with this. Man, we did some crazy shit, man. I'm talking about <laughs> shit I probably shouldn't even say. I mean... Because I heard that Julian was talking about making a part two off the, the other parts of the footage. Motherfucker, you can't make a part two. From parts of the... It's still the same movie. Yes, I do. I was just cleaning that rifle. Right before I started this live feed. That's a 3030 Model 94 Winchester. Known as the gun that won the West. Not damn... I'm like a fucking part of the line of goddamn cold cream when we want to share it on. <laughs> yes, I do, brother. Lever action. Add about 52 more to him. You know what's holding my phone up? A gun and two boxes of shells. <laughs> Swear to God, man. I'll tell you what, if you want to see some of my guns after this live feeds over, hit me up. I'll show you some toys. You know what I mean? My buddy was sitting here today. He's like, man, if they flew in here, Dirty, they'd be like this on their parachute. Dirty done had them over blowed away. He was like, they'd be hanging. I was like, yep, video fucking games 101, baby. Kill a bad guy and take his guns. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to pull a goddamn game over, man. Adam, Adam Devine up in this bitch. Anybody knows me, man, knows I'm a kind, free-hearted person. I don't fuck with nobody. And I won't, you know what I mean? I don't fight, start shit, but I will finish it. Don't come at me sideways. You know, there's people from Boone County in this room. Every one of them has hung out with me, partied with me. Uh, right there's one I'll catch up with you tomorrow. You're always busy. I don't want to hear it, Sabrina. You're always, uh-uh. Nope, you're out. You're, nope, flag on the play. 15-yard penalty. Uh, the go card ain't for sale. It was decided to be kept. There'll be no bids or no selling. My mom wants to keep it because sentimental reasons and uh, she actually wants to ride it. Uh, I, yeah, I've heard that story right there too before, haven't I? <laughs> uh, but I got a KX-65, a KE-100, a 50 Outlaw. That I'm about ready to put on the market. Yes, it is a sweet go kart. The other one I'm building is even sweeter than that. Fucking 800 and some cc's. You know what I mean? Equivalent to fucking uh, 26 horsepower. It's 26 horsepower I'm putting on this fucking go kart, guys. 26 fucking horsepower. This thing's going to be. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to be sweet, though. I'm putting the bigger wheels on the front. I done got them out there and everything. People's like, oh, you don't own a carbur demon carburetor? Click. Really? <laughs> right there, my Banshee seat's sitting right there on the towel. My Banshee is right there. Sitting right at where I can see it, straight beside the KTM. Because guess what? All I got to do put the fucking motor on. A lot of people don't understand you don't have to cr uh, crack, you have to have a crank splitter for a Banshee. A lot of people don't know that. A Banshee don't take a crank splitter. Now, as you can see, I just ordered another, uh, what do you call it? And I can't 
hang the side so I can what collar I want on my car like that because it's got a wrap where it says demon on it. I love this. I've always wanted a demon carburetor. And I love in the one so luckily. I was like, wow, no fucking way. I was like, you want to sell that? It was like, it's, it is for sale. I was like, I'll be right back. Came straight back. I handed him a $100 bill for a $485 car. Six fifty. Yeah, they are awesome. You should see the intake it goes on that I got it goes on. No mm -hmm. motherfucker's bad. I was looking at a coyote engine earlier. My son was showing me six thousand dollars. I said, Look at this one. Mm -hmm. The Victor a Gladiator. I mean a coyote engine. Twenty two thousand. My son his eyes about popped out of his head. He said 22000 just for the engine. Just for the engine. That's what you call a fucking engine. Stock setting. I had a Ford 29. That's 700 stock horsepower. If anybody knows anything about that. 429 Cobra Jet. The thing was... It was on a boat. A 429 Cobra Jet. Set it right on it. 429 Cobra Jet. 700 horsepower. That means it spins opposite of the way it would crank. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't be able to put it in the car. You would be, that would be fastest, that would be the fastest car you'd ever see in reverse. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you'd have to build a car back. Oh shit, them, what do you call it, them dudes that do them little Volkswagen and shit on that TV show, Street Outlaws or Street Monkeys or whatever the fuck they're called. I see Dan going for shit like that. I really do. My favorite dude's the guy who owns all the military shit. Me and him could get along like that. It's cool shit. Absolutely great stuff costs money. <laughs> You're fucking right. The rims and tires was, uh, but that was a steal. A thousand thirty-six bucks. That was a fucking steal for the ru rubber and the five-star rims. The, and uh, that's a really good deal. And my uncle was getting repainted. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but uh, if anybody needs me, I'm sitting here chilling. Get replacing guitar and kill some motherfucking Rocket League. Yeah, that's a boat engine, bro. You know what I mean? I still got the title of that boat. That's exactly what it would do. It would go backwards. You see what I'm saying? In reverse, it turns opposite. See what I'm saying? No, it won't go forward at all. None at all. See what I'm saying? Barely, if it did. You see what I'm saying? But this engine was set up for straight speedboating, you know what I mean? No, it wasn't built. It's the crank, the way the crank goes and shit, and if you understand what I'm saying, it goes into the uh, drive shaft and all that. It only spins one way. It don't spin the other at all. Not no boat. Mm -mm. No. That's your... It's Auburn when it backs you up. Oh, a boat is. That's not the motor actually for me, you know what I mean? If it is, it's only, you know, it is, but it's only basically like trolleys, you know what I mean? Now, when you're going forward and you hear boom, boom, <laughs> cross Lake Erie, you're like, God damn, the fuck was that? This motherfucker got a goddamn fucking supercharger in that son of a bitch. Sound like what's a goddamn racetrack and date on a 500. <laughs> Sound like he jumped in the mountainside. You don't ask me how I can make that sound. My little boy says all the time, you sound just like a 454 or something, Dad. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, any hillbilly about does. We used to play cars in the sand all the time. You had that Mustang sound, that boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? They pearl. But you got your open headers, them motherfuckers scream. I, I, one of the I, two most 
probably seductive smells, ladies. Any ladies that's watching, they has pro they probably have aphrodisiacs in them. Also, there's gunpowder and the fucking smell of two cycle at a goddamn monster truck. Oh my god, that makes you just want to be in your bitch over the seat right there, don't it, boys? <laughs> hey, I killed a deer while I was fucking a bitch. Them bitch know who she is. All y'all know who she is. That's the most epic kill I've ever had in my life. I said, don't move. I'll rest over. Still in this bitch and said, bam. Epic fucking kill. That's bigger than the 14 point. That was that was the best kill of my life. Right back here. My son hates it. He's like, you did that on my four wheeler, dude. Yep. I killed it, and then I killed it at the same time. He said, you are crazy. Where do you come up with this? I said, it really happened. That's how I come up with it. For real, I don't know, man. I told her I was hitting it so hard, she's going, Meh. she sounded like a baby deer. That's why I come up over, I guess. I thought it's baby was in its dad come up over. It. What's wrong with my baby? <laughs> that bitch was going, Meh. <laughs> dude, I swear to God, that deer came right to us, man. Right to us. I was sitting there killing it. From behind over to see to my full will I'll be dead honest with you people. I'm a comedian, I don't give a fuck. But this was real. Here walked a fucking six point. My I said, do you see that? She said, I said, don't fucking speak. Don't move. She said, what you about to get off? That's what she said to me. You know, bitch, you about to, I'd pay, if I was about to get off, it'd be like a buttermilk truck wreck. You're about to be pounding on the wall. Don't move, I said. She said, oh, my God, I see it. And I said, and she went to hold her ears before she could plug her ears. I, pow, I didn't blow that motherfucker sideways. I've killed them out tree stands. I've killed them with bows. I've killed them with motherfucking muzzle loaders. But I swear... Me. <laughs> I hope she ain't, man. I wish nothing but the best for her, man. That breaks my heart. I tried hard with that girl, guys. I really did, man. I was not going to take blame for her falling down mountainsides off of fucking silos. Me and my cousin Brandon sat here and laughed about that the other day. This bitch falls off the silo. Then crawls through the churchyard. This church has three fences of bob wire around it. <laughs> and she thinks she can get under it? Okay. Make her ass a state on her out of her fucking Nailsville or somewhere. Let her see if she can get under it by her. She came home cut to the bone, this deep, all over it. Looked like me. five people had raped her or something it would be it was awful you know what i mean me i was sitting right here brandon was sitting right there me and him just looked at each other like what the fuck what happened to her you know what i mean we just couldn't grasp like who did this you know what i mean i instantly jumped up and grabbed my gun and i threw brandon one week i was like who, you know, somebody do this you know what i mean no i, I got mad at you and I thought you was going to follow no nope. i'm not following you that's what they want guy they want us to follow them so they she get did she get off the dope or she gets off on serious dope Multi, who are you talking to? Multi-million dollar company. You talking to me, bro? <laughs> you talking? You talking to me, Kaiser? Which multi-million dollar company do I own? 
Good. Is Tim in this motherfucker? Oh, that Tim guy there? Man, I, I did the same Tim dude from forever ago, right? You know Justin, right, Tim? Tremato or whatever? That's my buddy, man, from over where you live. That's Tim Mack. I know who it is. I didn't know that was you when you first came come in, bro. Do you hear me say I had to deal with the Tim boy forever? You know you're the one that started this shit, right, Tim? You feel happy about that shit? No shit, Sherlock. You talking to me? I'm confused now. But, yeah, no, I, buddy, I don't sit here and sit there and, like, think out, like, is that Tim, the dude that, you know what I mean? Used to sell fake purses that used to do this, that used to want to fucking argue with me every day because I knew everything about you now, brother. Justin, like I just said, the one that's with your old lady sister. That's my boy. I know, that's why I don't talk about none of that shit. That shit's all the past. I'm just telling you that's my buddy now. And believe me, I know way more than I ever knew before, but you don't hear me saying nothing, do you? You know, that's none of people's fucking business here, what we do in Boone County. You know, I don't do that shit, man. You know, but you and Shana started this dumb shit right here. It's six years almost, Tim, and they still are attacking me, bro. From what you started, they saw that you, you know what I mean? If anybody's got any sense in here, it was Tim in the beginning there. Then it went to Scooter. Joe Wall don't make videos about me no more either. It's a guitar fingers. He's in here still one right now. I know that for a fact. I'm watching on the other line here. But, you know what I mean? If anybody had any sense, guys, the OG of this shit is the boy right there. You see what I mean? And he understood what it started causing. You know what I mean? And, see, he said stepped away. The Moses Heaps guy is the biggest issue. You see what I mean? He's the one I will not rest until I see do fucking jail time. Like I said, he has took things that from from my child, from me, you know what I mean? There's things I, I will not let go with that. You know what I mean? You did it. I'm talking Shana started it, bro. Remember? Wanting me to do the monetization. Because any video I ever made was GoPro and stuff with my son, you know? That's, uh, that's not, not your wife's sister. Or it's just, you know what I mean? You know who I'm talking about, Justin. You know what I mean? Tremate, Tremontio or something like that. You know what I mean? He was on his way over here earlier. And his truck overheated. That's my boy, man. Man, he chill all the time. I'm just saying he, you know what I mean? He knows you. You went to school with him. And he knows you well, very well. And you know he does. You know, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. And me and him was talking. He, I, he, he's like, remember that Tim guy there? He was like, you know, I know him very well like this, right? I'm, you know, I was like, Man, why'd he ever do that shit to me for? We didn't sit there and talk about you. There's Justin right there. Justin's right there. Just popped in. Boone County boy right there. He's like me. I love that shit. Here I am, baby. Justin, don't you come to my house, bro. Yes, they, and they took it way too far, Tim. Way, way too far, man. Beyond too far, bro. And a while ago, you said I was living off my stepdad's money. Is it? That's when I caught that. You see what I'm saying? How would you not know nothing happened if you wouldn't say something like that? 
Now that makes me a little pissed off. I ain't living on nobody, bro. I ain't never had to. Most inviting people, always clean and very respectful. Thank you, buddy. Uh, no, I'm the scammer, right? Remember that I'm still called a scammer, Tim, because of the Emily girl and the Abby girl that Shayna, right or wrong, sold these fucking products to. And then who, right or wrong, paid them back? Thank you, Michael. Thank you, brother. That's what I'm saying. That the kettle calling, the fucking black calling, fucking kettle calling, whatever the fucking saying is. But me, but what's the deal, pickle? You can take a pickle and fucking take a cucumber, put it in a pickle jar and, and pickle it, but you won't unpickle it. What's once a pickle, always a pickle. Just like my boys right there saying. There's no, I'm not coming at you or nothing, you know what I mean? I'm just explaining to you why it's still going on and why it started. It was never a joke to me ever, man. You know. I know where you fucking live, bro. You can tell me, I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. I'll come and knock on your door and say, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I bet you I fucking do. I know where Seth is. I can be in Seth in five minutes, bro. In that GR86. Probably six, four. That's the shit I don't like right there. You know what I mean? Right there is what I don't like. Oh, he's talking to Kaiser. He No, he's right, bro. You can read anything you want on paper. I've never had a conviction in my life. I'm pretty sure what I exposed you was, you can convicted of it. You understand? You try to expose me for something I never did, but I expose you for what you exposed try to expose me for is what he is saying and he's fucking right dude he's exactly right yes michael is right yeah the fuck he is bro it blew up in your face fake making fake pocketbooks fucking i'm pretty sure i made one video and he was like i'm done i'm done because that was showing exactly what you know what i mean kind of person that is and anybody backs a person up like that who backs my cousin, you know, that backs people up with dog handicaps, dead, I mean, need fucking us. Mm, they're just as good as a chum on my book. How can you be that? If I was ever sitting in Southwestern and a motherfucker like that walked in there, let's lock doors, baby. That's what people don't understand right there. One day, your dog and ass is going to get its day. You're going to reap what you fucking sowed, every one of you. You've said shit about my kid. You've took money from me and my son. I mean, you all are going to reap that, you know what I mean? And, uh, I mean... It don't bother me no more. The only content that any of them get is what I give. Like this right here. But it's only me sitting here talking. I never spoke about none of the dumb shit until it was brought up. Yeah, the pot calling the kettle black. Here we go. Yeah, and I ain't got no problem in I ain't got none. But you said I did. And you said, I beat my old ladies. Remember that shit? And you beat your old lady's ass, man. Didn't you? Bam, motherfucker. That's the biggest problem I got with you right there. You did beat your old lady. That's jail talk, bro. That's real home slice. But you made false accusations with a girl you pay. It's like Mr. B -B -B Bud does. But what I see and read was definitely fucking real. It wasn't off no internet. That's the difference between me and you. 
a felony. I'm not proud. I would never be proud to say I can't own my guns because I beat a woman. Fuck out of here, bitch. You spit on me, you kick me in the balls, or you punch me, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out like a man. You heard it from right here first, didn't you? Come on, butch. You feel me? But I didn't do it. But I never fucking was the one that did it. But I got accused of it, man. The accuser is always the doer. That's a fact. Pocketbooks. I don't know. I just exposed it. Something. You know what I mean? He was trying to fucking... Uh, Forge pocketbooks, and I got the facts out of uh, Tennessee. Actually, I can I got dirt on everybody that's ever talked shit about me, but I don't care about it because you know what I mean. It's irrelevant to me. I'm not going to bring up your dirt on you. You know what I mean? We all got skeletons, but the moment you try to bring a lie up on me, I'm gonna spill the straight goddamn fucking truth on you. That's why people don't like me. I can't be bought out. Uh, receipts for what? I like Jelly Roll. I just don't like that he won't admit that me and him and Minnie Thin, Haystack, and Nappy Skillmore had a rap battle together. Got no problem with Jelly. I just don't like that part, and I happen to be the winner. He still won't admit to that. But Kathy St. John will tell you. She's the radio station host. Many then will tell you. You know what I mean? Bray Bell will tell you. Fucking Shaggy 2 do 2 show from fucking ICP will tell you. Own it and go on. That's how I feel. I'm just telling you what, what was said, bro, and Jill. And by other motherfuckers. Word of the street, not the internet. That's what I said. That's what I'm trying to say. See, don't take that as a grain of salt like you're doing. I'm telling you what jail I said, jail talk never lies either. I've never heard jail talk lie, brother. Ever. I don't know nothing about that. How was it bullshit, bro? The charge was for fucking making fraudulent pocketbooks and materials. That's what it was. I know what he's talking about now. It's still actually on that old YouTube when it plays the creepy music. And it says, oh, what about this, Tim Mac? I don't even get... I, Tim, I've not made a fucking video, bro, in years, man. I don't get on that shit, man. No. Nah. And another question. How you know Shane is doped out? I didn't say you was trying to make no videos. See? I don't know if he's talking to Kaiser or me. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to talk to you normal. Hill. How the hell did you know Shane is real strung out on drugs? You know she's nine months pregnant, buddy. She's due any day, like any day. Yeah, that's Tim Mack right there. Tim Grotter is. He, he just lives across the hill from me, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, Tim, I think you know I caught with that, and you know I ain't no bitch. I'm not been coming at you. I'm just telling you how I feel and how I, you know what I mean? Because I would have knocked on your fucking front door, boy. And I still will. Seth, we own Seth. We own Printer. That's where we come from, my brother. Nobody will ever scare us. What the fuck won't get us? A Dotson or a Maynard? They better take a bath first. 
You read what on several pages? Yeah, he was selling, but I don't know about no fire sticks, guys. I've not said a word about no fire sticks. You know what I mean? I just know about purses and showed his criminal charges. You know what I mean? I didn't care to send a felony. I'm just saying the only video I ever made the, on the guy. I, ne I He can tell you I never said made videos about him and stuff. It's all I'm trying to say. You can ask the man. I still don't do that. You know what I mean? It took me 30 minutes to realize who the man was until Justin came in here and shit, and I said, look. That is, that's Tim right there. You see what I mean? I I hope she's not Tim. You know what I mean? That's all I, I can pray, buddy, for her. You know what I mean? Uh, but she did get bad. I'm sure you've seen it through her photos and things like that. Uh, <laughs> you can see where my life went compared to theirs. I'm... I'm sure you can see that, buddy. You know, the only mark I ain't like tonight that Tim said is the thing about me living off my set. No. No, buddy. You're very wrong about that. Very wrong. I will not leave my mother. My mother is grieving so bad it's unreal. I will not leave my mother until the last breath leaves me or her. Any motherfucker don't love their mother or their parents. Just a piece of shit in my book. Because that's what women look for in a lot of men. It's how a, per a man loves his mother. That's a fact. You know how many women's told me that? Because they know that's how they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all I can do is pray, uh... I, I so I was getting ready to talk about oh she's not on that stuff man Jesus Christ that makes me worry to death buddy as soon as you said that right there I was like God the kids you know what I mean I love Elena to death I love Trey to death Elena's just the daughter I never had I got attached to her you know what I mean as a the daughter I never fucking had you know it's just mm. I could never, ever choose something like that over Gina, man. I love my son so much. My son turned out to be a very intelligent, very fucking strong, very... I'm a very proud father. You know what I mean? I'm so proud of my son. Super proud. I couldn't be no prouder. Yeah, but Kaiser just highlighted. Heard she got off on some serious dope. I think he's talking the way he's mean that guy is I heard she got on dope. You know what I mean? He don't know her, like, situation now. Everybody takes everything with a grain of salt on here, man. You know what I mean? And you shouldn't do that. You should, you know, wait until actually what comes out. That's what caused a lot of conflict. Fuck, I don't know. Go ask your old lady or your mommy, bro. I'll probably meet some molly moochers that I found. See the fire marsh, buddy? Go do that. Get you some supper. That's the dumb question that pissed me off. Another thing right there. Stupid shit like that. Where's your supper at? Right here. Some good tube steak for you, buddy. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. I guarantee it'll get off ten times. Then another 10. Or I can just 75 with a drum. I can tease it. Then cock it. That, it'll let off 75 then. <laughs> Don't say dumb shit like that. And you won't get dumb. You won't get dumb answers. You know. I always do find quite a few Molly Moochers. That was the first day I went out. That was maybe 
30 minutes before dark. I think about 40. I didn't go out today. I messed around with the bike and the banshee. And got, uh, some, shit, some more shit ordered there before I entered the feed, you know. I've been out in the garage mostly today. Uh, read 150 for my buddy up the road. Uh, about 37, something like that, you know what I mean? I want to say like 42, but the bottoms fell off, you know what I mean? That's the first day I've been out. I always go out on 420. Guess what, guys? It's fucking 420. That's how I always know where to find them in my spots. I always got a joint in my mouth, just like I did yesterday. Around the 15th to the 20th is when you lay it to them. I could go a county over and find thousands, you know. Me and my buddy in the same spot I found them there yesterday, uh, we found around 3,000 there a few years. What? No, I, the go kart's not getting sold. It's getting kept now. Different decisions came into play that came into my life. You know? But there's another one being built, and just like I said, I'm redoing my buddy's fifty for his son. He just dropped it off to me today. My fuckers wouldn't be dropping them off to me if I didn't know what I was doing with them, would they? And I gotta do my other friend's CRF 150. I gotta, you know what I mean, adjust these valves. He ain't got a shim tool. Just got my MSD Blaster 2 from cool from my Mustang today. Now I'm just waiting on my intake. And then paint. I can't wait till you, you guys see the fucking rims that I picked out for. They're fucking nasty. Oh, you should see the go-kart now. It's got a badass yellow sliding seat. You can adjust yourself and all that on, you know. You know, Johnny Goble ain't talking smack about me. I talked to Johnny Goble three days ago or four. Right on here, right on his YouTube with him and shit. I, I know better than that, just like me and him both said in the beginning, you know, just like with Brian, you know, me and him has not said a word to each other forever because we are bigger and we understand it. You know, you're going to have fucking haters and you're going to have people try to start shit between you every day of your fucking life because you're YouTube people. Oh, Logan Paul's fighting him. Mike Tyson's fighting him. He's fighting him. He's fighting him. He's fighting him. I'm just sitting here talking about it. That's how it goes in life, guys. Who gives a fuck about somebody on YouTube? You know what I mean? I don't have... I get asked all the time, who's your favorite YouTuber? I'd have to say Catfish Cooley. Man don't talk about nobody. Man don't talk about handicaps. He does his own thing. You got to get rid of them goddamn hats like that, Tim. Uh, damn it. If you're from the hills, you got to be in your bill. Told him. It fucking touches, son. And usually put a hook on it. Hmm. Rubber band it. Mike Tyson will knock him out with a half a jab. Fuck you mean. Uh, this dude up the road said he wanted to, this guy. He's a he-she, by the way. I took, like, four ounces of weed out of his lap and 500 Percocets, like, three years ago. And he just, I said, get the fuck out of my yard. And he just cried like a little bitch and left. He said he's going to fight cash with catfish. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker got titties. Take estrogen pills and go fight cash, but he's gonna come in there like this. <laughs> oh, I broke a nail. Catfish gonna 
Get up, motherfucker. Cool. And, uh, Stale Cracker. I forgot about him. That's my boy. Stale Cracker right there. You know what I mean? Get up, dude. Come on now. Come on, dude. No, I don't know Hobo Shoestring. I like Stale Cracker and uh, Catfish Corey. It's only two people I watch on YouTube. Stell Cracker used to be a state trooper and lost his job because of some stupid shit. Just like one of us would. They're not going to... Tyson, you can't... Tyson's like me, buddy. You can't pay him to lose. Didn't you? Go watch the video I just posted. He said, all I know is the art of war. Starts crying about watching, you know what I mean? Studying Archelius fucking... That's just a, a video. When he speaks about that, it touches me, man. Because my favorite movie is fucking Troy. For a reason. Tyson ain't about it. He's just like me. He's about having his name remembered. If not, just like she says, when your kids are gone, the kids that are after that are gone, we won't be remembered. By God, you stamp your legacy. And Tyson's about that. And I love that about him. And I love that about motherfucking Achilles. You know what I mean? Fuck, goddamn, our Leonidas. Achilles was the baddest motherfucker to ever swing a sword. In my opinion, you know? I love when he calls out Hector. Straight up. Takes that mask off. Now you know who they're fucking fighting. Then he says, get up, Prince. I won't let a stone take my glory. I've said that many. Get up. Put that beer can down. I won't let a fucking excuse of you being drunk take my glory. Hector! There you go. Hector! I fucking love that part, boy. That's me calling out. You know who I'm calling out when I say that? Anybody that wants some. That's exactly how I would do it right to your front fucking gate and I'll fucking I love it because I'm gonna be sitting there I had to kiss the hands of the man that drug my son behind his chariot <laughs> before my days are done just like I have said many times on here guys I will watch the fucking flies buzz over the a certain few people's his corpse. That's a fact. Motherfuckers look like they're 90 years old. Why are y'all so worried about? I got people I went to school with. Younger than me. That is fucking gray headed as fucking the crypt keeper. Your old lady puts you through that much stress, dude. It's time for D I V O R C. <laughs> I mean, shit. They are so. I'm like, man, I ain't never had a gray hair. My fucking life. I'm 37 years old. They're 32. It freaks me out, man. See? Not me, babe. You know what I mean? What are you going to do, you know what I mean, when the day comes, when you have to fight? You going to let a little kid pull the trigger on you, or you going to pull the trigger, bro? I, I ask this question to so many people a day. Are you going to close your eyes? Because they're sure enough fuck ain't going to close their eyes. You know that kids... Dollars in China right now are trained to hate your guts and assemble an AK-47 and put it back together. Faster than Forrest Gump fucking could. Gump! Why'd you assemble that weapon so quickly? Because you told me to, drill sergeant. And that's a fucking fact. You see what I mean? Them motherfuckers over there. Bing, 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 bing. Goddamn nine guns are together. I'm just 
just, uh, well, I'm the type of uh, motherfucker, if I'm walking in a store, he says, fuck you to me, just like today, I told a dude I'd slam him through the car, fucking pump through the hood of his car, for wasting my time, at a gas station, I said, get in your goddamn pedophile fucking H H H triple H fucking uh, who even drives one of them anymore? I said, that's the new Ted Bundy. I will swing you through the window, motherfucker. Ooh, I hate motherfuckers like that, you know? They're dumb. Yeah, the Bay. We all know who the Bay is. Come on, guys, that's Steve. Steve. <laughs> we know his address. We know everything about the motherfucker. Take a video. Who gives a diddly damn dog shit? Make you fucking 15 cents. Whoopity wee wow. Frockity hoopity how. If that makes you feel good about yourself, get at it, man. Get at it. That's not me. I'm sure, I, you know what I mean, just like when I looked at one dude, I said, you need to get your fat bitch and tell her get the fuck in the house. Anybody says is that to my old lady? I'm gonna tap dance on your fucking ass. I told him that. I, I, I was trying to say everything to get him to come at me. And he wouldn't come. No, no, Steve. See how fast I know I called you out there to get to her. Mr. Hall, by calling you Steve, I know you're not Steve, but by calling you Steve, you just told on yourself. You people are so dumb. God damn, where did you learn people learn how to even try to fuck with people and hack people, man? Because you know how much sleep, sleep I ever lose over this shit, or like, y'all say, oh, watch out for this warrant and this and that. Watch out for these if you ever meet me, man. That's all I can tell you. You're one of them. You're going to call me a straight ass woman. Because this is the first thing I'm going to say. We ain't on the internet now, are we? You know what that means? Oh, we got air and opportunity. Everyone with the fucking air. I'm going to snap. Fucking crackle pop your ass. I hate a fucking bitch like that, man. Here, let me go steal his video for his cousin because it's so I can cause his family more trouble every day. Now, I'm just speaking facts, Laura. That's pure facts right there. That's right, cross that line. Say when, motherfucker. I said, say when. Ain't none of them said nothing, either. Right. Why you think I got a great YouTube that I fucking love? I guarantee I make triple what these ignorant fuckers do by causing chaos, right? Dude, you're not worthy of my time to look at your profile. Understand? Why would I want to look at a fucking Nickelodeon chic looking motherfucker? I'm looking at you with your beanie on. Okay? And your head's so big it don't fit, bro. Now we see why you now I see exactly why you think you're something. Your head's blowing up. That woman you got, got your head off of blowed up. Does she wear your dick in her purse too? Like Donald's does? When she got you on a wireless leaf? I, I've always known that you're not Steve. But I've always called you Steve, haven't I? And you answered to Steve and said, Dirk, you go look. I'm not Steve, but I'm dumbass guitar fingers. That lives in Virginia. Man, come on, dude. I want you to answer this for me, man to man. How boring's your life gotta be to sit and wait on me to go live and shit? How boring do you have to be? I mean, I... If I was at a bar set with my friends, oh, God, Dirty's going to die. Holy God, guys, hold on. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. That's what you fucking sound like to me, bro. For real, right there. I got to take a shit, man. I'll be back, guys.
in all reality, you go down there and try to fucking up on something. Dude, you're no better than any one of us in here. Riddle me that back now. Come on. Why? Because I tell you like the fuck it is. How I feel. I'm a jerk because I tell you how I feel. Then get the fuck. Why are you watching me? Why are you following me? Get the fuck out of the room. You see the button? No, you'll just record the video and say, Here, little man, he's such a jerk. I gotta go in here and cry to my girlfriend now. <laughs> Baby! He should be big as that goddamn couch over there. Let me roll you in flour, can I? So I can be a dick, too. But I came at you real just now. Who's got enough time to sit on their fucking ass in life to watch somebody go live, and when they go live, stop their life and record it? You riddle me that. Even TiVo it. Motherfucker got me on TiVo, son. You know how it makes me feel? Just a little bit better. You know why? Because I know I'm in a motherfucker's head every day of my life. And I'm doing my goddamn job right. And not one of you motherfuckers would ever goddamn step. It's all that matters to me. And I know I can kick your ass. That's all that matters. Now, ain't it? Let me get on here every day, guys. Uh, well, get tar fingers. Um, he, uh, he's live, guys. He's live, and uh, he ain't got no life. And he, uh, I mean, wow. the fuck out of here, man. That, amen, Nick. Do you see me bat a fucking wink then or now? They have threatened me for years, like you're saying. They ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. Not one of them. But said on the internet... My, my cousin ain't even an administrator of his own computer. What the fuck does that tell you? And he swears he is. No, he is not. Because I was the first, as soon as he got the damn thing. I was like, dude. I said, is there two accounts when you log in that, like, Separate, like kind of like a PlayStation on a screen, because that's how you have to talk to my cousin. Motherfucker didn't even know how to set his YouTube up. He said, "What's AdSense? What's Google AdSense? That means you advertise, bro, like a commercial, and you set a threshold. What's a threshold?" I said, "Fuck this. You guys can do it." So I, I bet it took y'all five days to get that fucking done, didn't it? <laughs> I know it did. That motherfucker was driving me crazy trying to work a fresh hole. Motherfucker, you set your money so how much you want to pour it out at each time. That's what a threshold's called. You never heard of a threshold? You never heard, you ever heard of a timeline? You ever heard of fuck you? <laughs> it was so funny, man. And then I told him, I said, go back. Kick control alt and delete. Why? Do what I say. I said, hey, owners. It says, I'm the guest. That means you don't own the goddamn computer. Take the motherfucking back apart, cuz, if you're watching this, like I told you, and take the battery out of it. Because there's somebody watching your goddamn computer every move you make. Don't believe me like I keep telling you. I'm the dumb one. But all I've ever done is do what? Think about that for a second. Build a fucking computer. Just take that three volt battery out. And I'll smash one of these little motherfuckers' ass in here. Because they're the ones that cause this controversy. Whoever sent you that computer is the one that does. My fans gathered up. I couldn't believe 
when I got on there and read. I'm not going to come live unless somebody, uh, something. Uh, and then uh, the birthday one. Holy fuck. You ain't no friend of mine or family of mine unless you leave me some money for my birthday. Man, come on. That's practically back panhandling. Motherfucker, I ain't never got on here and begged nobody panhandling for money. You better give me some money for my birthday or I'm going to delete deleting y'all. Who does that? I know who the fuck do that. I really do. You know why? That's why. Man. The more I just keep thinking about it, I'm like, God damn, man. You think you're a superstar. <laughs> you're just dumb as fuck. I'll beat you to death if you snort my line of fucking dope. Let me, I'm just quoting the most famous person from the movie. Hold on for a second. Yeah, they'll rob you blind, man. If uh, they crawl on the floor, and that's what I used to do. I used to crawl on Bo's floor all the time and rob ounces of weed off of her. You know, that's, that's why you can only tell that story because that's what you used to do. Just like, we all was talking about that earlier. That motherfucker, you know what I mean, can't even tell a story because that's what he did. <laughs> yeah, uh, headboard. What fucking headboard? No, it's a Bob Marley poster on a headboard right here. Martin makes a good guitar. They're not the best, in my opinion. That's your opinion. Martin and Company. It's a good guitar. If, it, if it's a Martin D., I'll agree with that. If it's a Martin Company, no. I'll stick with a Taylor. Or a Fender, even. Just depends on what model. I ain't gonna sit here and argue about fucking get them. That's a guitar thing. I ain't gonna sit here and argue about dumb get Dude, are you serious? I know what my fucking guitars are. Guess why I bet my boy Noose would play you under the table, wouldn't he? Love y'all hate it on him too. You know what I mean? Ain't it? Oh, well, I like how Noose plays because you can't play like him. And like he always said, I wouldn't give one of them motherfuckers 35 seconds of my satisfaction or my talent. He hated you people, man. He said, especially at one that's good. Who the, what the fuck's guitar fingers? Ain't that right, bro? The fuck's that mean? Means his fingers touch a guitar? Oh, weepity wow, you got a telecaster? I got a stratocaster, telecaster, a batacaster, your mother caster, and wipe a caster. You wanna have a pissing contest? Say. So, guess what? Kentucky Aubrey? Holy shit, you played in the Grand Old Aubrey, huh? The Kentucky Aubrey. I wouldn't even claim that. You wouldn't play for a bunch of <laughs> yellow belly underground people? Yeah, you talking about the chair behind me right here? There's a fucking headboard. I thought he was talking about that white piece back there. That's where Bob Marley posted. Remember, it was broken where I fucking had to smack City Boy out of here? Well, it's fixed now, okay? A headboard not, didn't used to be there, so that's why you're spotting it. Because when I hit him the second fucking time, you know what I mean? You fuck come off his side of his face and knock this off and broke it. See it? Just like that. Cheers. Oh my god, we got a bunch of fucking alcos on here. Cheers, lady, but marijuana's bad. <laughs> I can hear right now. Fuck out of here. Eat your liver out, motherfucker. What we here can. Fucking cirrhosis. That's cirrhosis and the other one's liver.
That's like getting two black people together. You know what they turn to then, right? That's what alcoholics do, watch. My name is Derek. My drug of choice is Lizzie Ray. <laughs> I'm a prick. No, I, no just because I hate you, bitch. That's all. Because you're a bitch, bro. You've always been a bitch. I'm a prick. What, did I kill you? Because of my... I told you all my friend, but he never would get on camera because he hated you and shit. Because, what's that mean? Get tar and let misses get tar fingers? <laughs> you think we didn't have a lot of laughs with you? And Moses, he, what the fuck's that even mean? Who do you think, who are you going to part? This one's old lady's Red Sea. Hell yeah. You got to like your weed. No, I'm talking about, no, I'm not trying to be mean, Natalie. But this, the bay will try to flip it like I am on you. What I mean by the, like, two drunks together, if there's only two of them, by God, they're going to let people know. You know what I'm saying? But if there's 20 of them, God damn, you're joining them. But if there's just two, by God damn it, motherfucker. That's how it is here in Boone County. Dude, you're irrelevant. Nobody can, no, I'm not even reading what you say anymore to me. Who cares? Moses is king. <laughs> he probably couldn't fight his way out of a motherfucking diaper. Guarantee it, the diaper he's probably sitting in right now. Motherfucker, probably sit. That's what y'all do. Y'all sit in the pens and sit and wait. That's how long y'all wait on me, huh? You sit in the pens? <laughs> y'all depend on Durkee that much? Oh, baby. I'm sorry. You see that, Nadler? You see that, Laura? They got to depend on me so much. They wear the pins. There's some hell of a men, ain't they? There's some bad motherfuckers, man. But I wish motherfuckers would just come come meet me. You're, you're a fan of the movie, right? Come meet me, bro. I'm offering you to. But your punk ass won't. I'll shake your fucking hand. But if you want to throw hands, we'll throw hands. It can be that or it can be that. I'm not nice, bye-bye. Peace, pot, and pills. Peace, pot, micro dot. God loves the stoner, not stoners win. Stoners die, and then we'll all get high. Yes, I do like a Benelli shotgun. It's a great automatic. I actually got a, a Benelli that takes a drum. Oh, yeah, I know you're scared. You're scared? Well, you scared of the next oatmeal cream pie giving you diabetes? That's about the only fucking thing you're scared on. That's it. He's scared the next oatmeal cream pie. Because the north men, north of Richmond, when you fucking pack your lunch bucket full of fudge round, you only put your fucking fat ass six feet in the ground. You know what radio station that plays on there? Guitar Fingers? And who owns that radio station? Draven Rife. Who helped Draven Rife? Did you do that, Guitar Fingers? Shut the fuck up. You couldn't promote a goddamn frog, tadpole to a frog. Shut up, go somewhere. Rich man north of fucking dumbass Richmond, Virginia. Duh. Joe Manchin, D.C., who don't know? Those are my people, okay? I know what they're talking about. Don't act like you know you, you know something. Like you're in Hank the Third's album cover or something. Fuck off, Okay. I doubt they put your gut would take up the whole first fucking album page. They wouldn't be able to fit you or your wife on the whole fucking CD and the album cover, so just shut up with that shit. Okay? Oh, I don't know, Durkee. Everybody on the internet said, where did Draven walk right into? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. What'd that do for Goble? Hmm? But who's the one that blew up?
Yeah, I always say that. North men, north of Richmond. Because I was a bunch of Yankee fuckers. Did you not catch on to that? You must be slow. My, 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 my mama said, you didn't catch on that, huh? Yank I can't, a Yankee, I'm, I'm sure a Yankee ain't gonna catch that. North man, north of Richmond. No shit, it's rich man, north of Richmond. The concept I just said is north man, north of Richmond. Did you not catch it? That means Yankee, duh, guys, come on, man. I like fucking talking to y'all and bullshitting with you, but you're making it boring now. Honestly. There's Yankees uh, I would stand side by side with, man. Just not people that talk about my dad, family members, and children and shit, dude. There's one day we're going to have to do that. That day comes many people side with me. That day comes many people fucking ride with me. I know Jesus loves me. God's great, brother. God is beautifully great. Every day, every second, every moment. You think otherwise, you are out of your mind. I'm talking about, I'm talking to a Southern Baptist, but I'm not somebody that takes their someone's baptism video. Am I there? And exploits it to the internet, am I? But you did that. There, Mr. North. Wanna be rich man north of Richmond. Everybody that watch that says God, that's a shame. Somebody would try to make somebody trying to get God in their life. You know what I mean? And expose that and make fun of that. Hell will not be hot enough for those people. Mm -mm. Uh, 43 X is fucking amazing, bro. The 43 is... I like the X a lot better. It's like holding my SIG. I mean, 229 or 250. That's about 40 cows, by the way, gentlemen. Damn, I can't believe that. That one still start bothering me. I'm thinking about that. Ain't got much to say on that, do you? Jesus really loves you, huh? Makes fun of people's baptism. Now I'll end it with.